Wow. Look at this one-of-a-kind Wrangler. 2021 custom dealer package. And today, we're going to modify it. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Dan H, and welcome to the project. Check out this Wrangler. This is a 2021 Jeep Wrangler, special edition from the dealership. This is awesome. This is going to be the first Wrangler I ever had on the channel. We're going to do a little customizing on it today, but first, let's take a little walk around. Let's introduce you to the owner. All right, guys, this is Pastor Mike from Cornerstone Bible Church. How you doing, Mike? How you doing, Project oh. Dan fans? How you guys doing? Great, and I love this Jeep. Thank you for letting me show this on the channel. This is such a cool Jeep. This is a, a special custom edition from the dealership. Yeah, let me give you a little, a little backstory here. So a few years ago, my wife was diagnosed out of nowhere uh, with ovarian cancer. And for years, we were talking about Jeep life, Jeep life, loving Jeeps. And she was like, I want a Wrangler. And I, you know, never pulled the trigger. So about four years ago, uh, we got our first Wrangler, fell in love to be a part of the Wrangler family. Uh, the lease was coming up and, you know, we said, you know, let's go take a look. And we walked in a dealership and you guys know what I'm talking about. You know when you know, right? You like know. You met your wife, you knew. <laughs> you see that car, you knew. I don't want to compare my wife to a Jeep. I'm just saying, we knew, right, that this was the Jeep. So we walked in and they, you know, the rims came straight from the dealer. Got to set off the Stingray gray just right. Came on uh, 33 inch tires. I love it, it's got a nice stance, not too high. My wife's a little short. You can edit that, right? <laughs> I can edit it, you know? Probably these, not. These, these uh, I put in, these little inserts from Under the Sun inserts and Patchogue. Patchogue, Long Island. My late wife, Emily, and I started this company with a 15 unit motel in Patchogue, Long Island. Uh, wow. They come in all different flags. I love it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So what are your plans for this bad boy? My plan for this Jeep is to make it the first ever Marvel Shield Edition Jeep. So I want you guys to think that Captain America rolled in on this Jeep. Of course, I get out, you're disappointed, but that's all right. That's all right. Not if you dress the star. So, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So they can, they sprayed all, so, you know, all the accessories, all the things on the outside of it, little touches, little splashes, it's blue, kind of frame out all this gray. That's great that the dealer did all this stuff. That's so cool. I put the Marvel Shield there we symbol go. on there. All right, they came with these uh, the, side steps? The side steps came from the dealership. I love the choice. Wow. They sprayed the antenna holder. Love that. It's a nice little touch. Yeah. Brightens it up. The flag in the blue just pops so well. Oh, it just makes it makes it shine. <laughs> That's awesome. So this is this is my baby. I'm excited to let Project Dan give us a little <laughs> upgrade here. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna upgrade it? We're gonna jump off the uh, the American Freedom Edition. We're gonna we're take the trail rated off, and we're gonna put Captain America's shield on and then we're going to take the stock set up off and we want to put an american flag a nice little subtle touch right here we just want this to be a jeep that screams you know we love our country america baby that's it america One of the jeeps land of the free heck yeah let's take a look at the new products so here we have you'll recognize this captain america <laughs> fans captain america flag we're going to put that Boom. Right here. Right there. It's gonna give it a nice burst of color. Nice. And then we have a nice subtle touch, the American flag in gray. Beautiful. I'll kind of just tie the gray in to the black right here. I think it'll just it'll just make the whole back end look awesome. So Patriotic cool. door cap. Absolutely. Absolutely. Blending the uh, the Marvel with the American flag edition. That's Love it. it. I will tell you the 2021 Jeeps, totally different ride. Totally different turn radius, so much better on gas. And this one is uh, your winter package. They got the winter package so that this is heated, the seats are heated, and the seats, man, are like super heated. It, it, <laughs> it's buck wild. But it's nice that, you know, I got the soft top. Some people like the hard top. Well, we're a beach goers, so. Well, I like the top soft. Top so <laughs> gotta have it, gotta have it. We're going topless. That's it, going topless. <laughs> That's Let's awesome. Some church people, though. All right. <laughs> You know, so this this is it. This is my baby. I mean, obviously, you know, you know, I'm, I'm you see the beach sand yep. from Montauk. Got to be out there. This doesn't get babied. It gets, no, it gets used. used. Baby. That's what it's for. Gotta go out there. Jeep life. All right. All right. What do you want to pop on first? All right. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's All right. Let's get some tools. 
All right, guys, first order of business, we're going to remove this trail rated badge so we can put on our Captain America badge. So let's see what we're going to use to get this off. All right, I got my pack of Motivex trim removal tools. Thank you, Chris Watson. He is a Motivex tool dealer. Hit him up for your set of tools. Wow, this is pretty well velcroed together. <laughs> Here we go. All right, got an assorted bunch of trim pulling tools. You know what? I don't think we're going to use these. I don't want to damage. Pastor Mike's Jeep. So we're going to try the old floss way. I don't have floss, but I do have some nice nylon thread. So we're going to try to use the nylon thread first. All right, guys. So there's a lot of reasons why I may want to remove this badge. Some people put on cool Captain America badges. Other people want to just match the color scheme of their Jeep, whether it's blacked out or orange, red, green, whatever. Uh, but they will use a trail rated badge just with different colors. But the problem is, once you remove the trail rated badge, it's very, very hard to get it lined up exactly in the right orientation. So I'm gonna use a piece of tape just to mark off this horizontal line. That's just an example for you guys. Ours, ours we just have that little star we're gonna line up. But that's all you're gonna do to maintain your level once you remove this badge. And just pop this off here. Now we know where that line has to be if we were going to replace this trail rated badge with another trail rated badge. So next thing we're gonna do, is we're just gonna start a little bit at the top. I'm gonna try to get some room back here to fit our thread or your floss. Now before I came here, I went over to the junkyard and I yoinked this off a practice Jeep and <laughs> you can see the amount of adhesive over here. This is no joke. So this is what we're working with behind here. Look at all of that tape. That's about an inch on either side. So to get this off, you have to use a lot of work and you don't want to damage the paint behind it or uh, push anything in when you pry. So we're going to try to do this very gently. So here we go. We have the trim removal tool. Just gently wedge behind the badge. Now we're going to see if we can put the nylon thread in here. I'll work it behind it. I'll double it up. we got a whole roll. So it's all right if we break some. go look at that nice boom look at all that tape <laughs> oh yeah yep no joke right all right guys that was the hardest part of today's project now we're just gonna pick off the rest of this tape we're gonna clean this up still got some residue Got a little residue. Boom. Let's try some goo gone. Gone. All right. Got a nice shot at your uh, forearm, Tat. What's that mean? Ah, so this is my daughter is a type 1 diabetic, and there's a popular tattoo in that community for people of faith. And this is, means God is greater than the highs and the lows. Amen. And He is. Amen. He'll take you through the mountaintop, I'll take you through the valley. Um, and sometimes that's all related to her blood sugar, but God is good. So the goo gone takes off the glue. Now we gotta take off the glue, get her off her. We're gonna use some 91% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. This will make sure that the new sticker sticks. Okay guys, here we are with the badgeless paint. Look at that, no scratches at all. A nice clean emblem removal. So thank you Chris Watson for the Motivex tools and you gotta love that nylon thread. So of course, check the description below for a link to all these products. All right, Mike, ready to do the honors? All right, so. Pop this bad boy on. I'm gonna peel off the back, get this peeled. Gonna try to get the star pointing the true north. Straight go. up. How am I looking? Looks good. Parallel to the reference lines, yep. Hold on. I think right there. I think we're good. 
That's it. I think we're good. That's the ticket. Oh, yeah. Wow. And that just, that just makes you want to salute. Look at that. That's a nice Love looking it. logo. That's beautiful. Awesome. That adds some color. Makes it pop. Aww. All right, guys. That is looking awesome. That is perfect. Love it. All right, now time for the fuel door upgrade. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna pop this thing out, but to get this out, I do believe we have to go inside, loosen up a nut, and take off this tail light housing. So let's uh, jump on in there. All right, we're gonna go inside. We're gonna take off some more pieces of trim. Sand and a football, definitely a beach Jeep. I love it. But we're gonna come right up in here. We're gonna take my Motivex tool right there. I'm gonna pop off this plastic piece. Easy as pie. Got an 11 millimeter on a tiny socket, quarter inch, and this thing is plastic, so we'll be very gentle. We'll remove this, what do they call it, gingerly? That's it. Now, you say gingerly, you know what I think of, right? Gilligan. How do you, come on, man. <laughs> it's the only ginger. <laughs> That's the only ginger in the world. Ginger Marianne. Oh, and wait, the, wait. And the professor, too. That, uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Marianne. Uh, what's that other ginger? Ginger ale, lime, uh, soda? Come on, fellas. Ginger ale, lemonade, and ginger ale lime is the bomb. Was that Canada Dry or I think, what was that? I think it was Canada Dry. That was the bomb. It's the only good thing to ever come out of Canada. <laughs> Can we say that? Is that? Are we allowed? And maple syrup. That maple syrup, but I stand yeah. corrected. I stand corrected. All right. I don't know if this is just gonna. Oh, okay, that's it. Good, the taillight's not falling out. Good, that's it. Look at this weird thing, weird contraption. Interesting. All right, let's pop this guy out. I guess, uh, yeah. Clean this. Oh, well, well, hello. <laughs> that was easy. Take off this clip and the connector. Push the lock out. Pinch and pull. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Oh. All right, so this is the new fuel door. It is an exact replica of the one that's in there. So we're gonna look for these little tabs. We're gonna reach in there, try to pop off these tabs. There should be four of them. Yep, all four corners. So we're gonna push the tabs in and pull this fuel door out. Wait, I think we gotta take this off first. There we go. Oh, there it is. They're soft, soft plastic. Just gotta push them down. That's two. Let's go to the bottom. So we just wiggle it up. Hey. Beautiful. Easy. Beautiful. Just uh, slide the gasket. Oh, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Boink. That was easy. It's gone. <laughs> There she is. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Jinx. Yeah. Oh, me, uh, Canada Dry. <laughs> there you go. All right. I guess we got to put the gasket on first. Let's, let's do the gasket. All right. Beautiful. There you go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Well done. Beautifully. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna line up this little knob right here, right to this uh, place for the knob. I don't know what you call that. Indent. Gonna work on the gasket. Mike, gonna push the uh, fuel nozzle down while I work this up and around. Come on now. Look at that. Look at that beauty. That is awesome. Check that out, guys. That is looking awesome. Beautiful. All right, we'll pop this tail light back in. Connect the connector. Lock it. 
put the Christmas tree fastener back where it goes. All right, slide it right in. I'll go grab the plastic screw. Beautiful, beautiful. Yay. Hold this, yeah. hold that. Yeah, because you're gonna have to put some pressure on it. That's right. Well, Mike holds the tail light in. I'm gonna hand thread the screw so we don't strip it. I wish it was metal, I really do. Well, they made it lighter for the better gas mileage. That's it, man. It's like a plane. <laughs> Every little bit helps, right? There we go. Just a little bit tight. No need to overdo it. Again, it's plastic. Be gentle. That's it. And just in case you don't have an 11 millimeter, that looks like it's a T35 Torx. Not that you would have a Torx over a regular 11 millimeter socket, but just extra info for you guys. All right, let's cap this bad boy up. Which way we I think the indent goes towards you. That little cutout. Yeah. Um, put the so we get this back outside in first. in first. Yeah. Done. Beautiful. Awesome. All right, guys. That is looking great. I think that's a wrap. Alright guys, there we are. All done. This is looking great. The landscapers are gone, so we have some peace and quiet. <laughs> we can talk now. Man, I love this American flag. Ain't nothing better than that. And let's take a look at it. This is the, the best part. The, uh, what do they call it? The piece de resistance? I don't know what it means. I don't speak French. <laughs> what the French call a certain... I don't know what. <laughs> Look at that. It's the 3D nature that just makes it pop. Draws your eye right there. Beautiful. A little bit of red. Hello. What's going on? <laughs> Making an entrance. Listen, thanks for spending some time with Project Dan. You know, as always, if you like the content, you got to like it, share it, spread the good word. Thanks for spending some time with me. It'll not be the, first, the last time. It is the first time. It won't first be the time. last time that we do some work on the Captain America Jeep here. Oh yeah. It'll be a little bit of a series. Uh, I'd appreciate thoughts and prayers from my wife. You know, Dan, thank you. She will love this. This is this is gonna brighten her day. So thank you, Jeep family. Thank you, Project Dan. And uh, most of all, thank God, without him, we Amen. got nothing, so. Amen. So uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next project. Peace. Peace. Let's get this top off. One of the things I love about this Jeep. That was easy. And that's it. <laughs> easy button. <laughs> there you have it. All right. Pass the mic out. Right. Later, brother. <laughs>